In this video, we will solve another simple problem from arrays. And this is taken from a lead code and the problem number is 1929. And it's called concatenation of array. So the problem says you are given an integer array and its name is nums and its length is n. And you want to create a resulting array, let's say ans, and its length will be twice the length of input array. And how is it formed? So in the result, its ith element is numsi and i plus n. So till n, 0 to n minus 1, it will be same in both the arrays. So this is nums and this is answer. And this is twice the length. till n minus 1 all elements are same so this is what the statement says and uh, for i i plus n that is so i ranges from 0 to n minus 1 so i is 0 to n minus 1 so i plus n so so 0 plus n that is nth index and then when i is 1 we have uh, n plus 1th index so this is n plus 1 and all the way up to n plus n minus 1 so this is the i the max value of i is n minus 1 and we are adding n to it so 2n minus 1 and that is the last index in the resulting array and this will be same as nums i that is this value so when the value of i is 0 we place it here and here at two places when n is 1 we put this value at 1 and n plus 1 and so on all the way up to here so all the value occur twice So in essence, what is uh, the result? So either you can implement this way, whatever is given here, or if you see the result, it's the same thing repeated twice. So first, if you divide the result into two halves, the first element of both the halves are same, second element of both the halves are same, and so on. So this is the original array. So you have to concatenate that twice. So that's why the problem statement is concatenation of arrays. So this is 1 to 1, 1 to 1 and this is the result. Now let's uh, write the code for this. So we will store the size and then the size of result is 2 times n and let's initialize to 0 and now we will run a loop so we are populating all the values of result So this will not work because this till n minus 1 it's fine but after n minus 1 this i will become n and this will give out of bounds. So better to write modulo here and that should work. We could have also run a loop from 0 to n minus 1 and then each in for each value of i we could have populated two values result i and result i plus n and we will see that also so first let's try this both are same things uh, so the wrong answer uh, 
it looks like the last value will not set and the reason is that since it's not less than equal to i can go to till to n minus 1 so this would be this is the mistake don't make this kind of mistakes and now it's correct so we can submit and the solution is accepted and again the time complexity here you can guess it's just one loop and in each loop we are doing a constant single operation so it's o of n and space again o of n for this result that we have to return now let's uh, comment out this part so now what we will do we will run just a loop from uh, 0 to n minus 1 this is the value of i and then result i is nums i and result i plus n that is also nums i both are same thing this loop and this loop here within each loop we are doing two operations and the loop runs for n units here the loop ran for 2n units and within each loop we are doing one operation and let's see if this works or not so this also is correct and if we submit this solution is accepted so somehow this earlier solution was taking 8 millisecond this one is taking 12 millisecond but this may be random also the time complexity of both are the same so i hope uh, you understood this simple problem so we will gradually increase the difficulty level of further problems uh, related to arrays so see you in the next lesson